Y'all like this Christmas sweater? Make it rain deer. And it's a reindeer on a candy cane stripper pole. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome to my channel, the number one place to chill, kick it, and be yourself. Today is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to talk about Christmas and how important it is for me, especially growing up as a kid. So I, have a, I come from a big family and a big family environment. And what I mean by that is my family friends are my cousins. Ask any Filipino person you know, and they'll tell you that that's their cousin and be like, how are you related? And they'll be like, <clears throat> you know what? It's, it's complicated. It's complicated because if, you know, we've ever had sleepovers, if you power bombed me, if we played basketball in the basement or video games, you're my cousin. If at any point you asked me if I was getting food and I said, yeah, and then you asked me to get you food, you're my cousin. We rented movies at Blockbuster. We played video games together. Uh, growing up, if you were at my birthday party, you are my cousin. That's all I knew. If you were right there for my birthday and we did all those things, you were my cousin. No questions asked. Birthdays were always special because you knew you were going to get gifts. Um, you were going to take awkward photos, you know, with your cousins and blow out the candle. You were going to have a paper towel stuck to the back of your shirt because you were sweating so much. Christmases were exactly that, but it was like everyone was getting gifts. It wasn't just you. So it was really special. So growing up, there was like maybe a thousand Filipinos in one house. And when you get in, you know exactly which cousins are there by looking at all the shoes and being like, oh, I know, oh, Gab's there, Pat's there, oh, Jack's there. You know who was there. That's why, and there's like a landmine of shoes. And then you go, you eat, there's a plethora of food. So when it was time for the gifts to be given out, and I want you guys to tell me, because I've never experienced another culture uh, doing something like this. So tell me what you guys, what your traditions were, or even just regular family traditions, because I would love to, to hear about it. Um, we would pack into a basement and the lights would turn off. And then the parents would get all the kids to sing. And there's this one song that would always make Filipino Santa come down the stairs. So all the lights are closed and they would, it would, it would only be this. Santa Claus is coming to town. And because no one else knew the rest of the lyrics, we would just repeat that line over and over. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Right before all this happens, the parents always give you uh, garbage bags so you can collect your gifts and like the, there was so many gifts so your kid with a garbage bag waiting for Santa to come Filipino Santa then Filipino Santa comes from the top of the stairs all the kids are yelling yeah, Santa, Santa. and it felt like it felt like we made him a wrestler because of the intro he had intro music funny thing is um, obviously the Santa was one of us or like an uncle. So you could never talk. If you were Santa, you could never talk because then people would be like, hey, I know you. I know who that is. Whenever it was me or my cousins that were Santa, you, you would hear like, hey, why is Santa so fat? Oh, one, one too many lumpias. Hey, why is Santa so short? And us being Santa, you, you can only do one of these like. So Santa's role was very flexible, right? You could, it could be you one year, it could be your cousin. And it was always, as we got older and we, you know, came into the role of Santa, everyone dreaded it. Everyone's like, I don't want to be Santa this year. It's so hot. You start sweating. You know what I mean? Then you have to take pictures with everyone. And it was just a lot of work. On very special years where one of our cousins um, was dating someone who was white, that was an automatic, your Santa. Automatic. Hey man, you're gonna be Santa this year. <laughs> and they're like, yep. And when it was when it was not a Filipino Santa, it was like the kids believed it more. Oh my god. Is that really you, Santa? <laughs> Chad. Alright, I know um I know you guys just started dating, but do you think 
like you could just be Santa and then boom, Chad, Santa for the next five years. They're not even dating anymore and he's still Santa. That's what happens. Ask any one of your friends, one of your Filipino friends who's dating a Caucasian guy, a white guy and ask them if they've ever had to be Santa at, at parties. So during this gift giving, what happens is there's like a, so there's so many gifts, you know, they read the names, they hand out the gifts and these, these last like two hours, these, there was a lot of people and there's a point where th there's no more gifts, but they bring out envelopes and every one of us who were like, you know, preteens, teenagers knew this was the time because envelopes meant money. It wasn't a gift you were get getting. It was, it was cash. It was cash. And so when the cards came out, everyone was like, yes, <laughs> cards. <laughs> and sometimes you would leave with like a stack, like a stack. Honestly, between like 13 and 17, I felt like I was, I was going home at like $600. And then after that, you take photos. You take photos with Santa. Every family takes photos. You do all this kind of cool stuff, you know, and then Santa leaves. Peace out. So like a lot of people this year, Christmas is looking very, very different. And I just felt like I wanted to share some of my happier moments of Christmas through this video and tell you guys about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are having a safe and Merry Christmas. I will see you guys next week. So take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Peace. Close. If you want to get a present, Jill, from who? sit down from who? so you will get a present yeah. from Santa Claus. <laughs> 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 I see, I heard everyone. Okay. I got a surprise for you guys later. I got a surprise for you later. Um, so stay tuned, everybody. Peace. <laughs>